So, uh, uh, hello friends. So today I'm going to tell you how we can register a FortiGate device with a FortiGate portal so that uh, we can have the proper licensing and proper support in place. So there are some prerequisites that we need to have. So the prerequisites are we need to have the device serial number, we need to have the FortiCloud key, and we need to have the contract ID. And once all these three things are there, we must have uh, the reachability to the Fortinet portal so that uh, once we are connecting the Fortinet device to our network, he must be able to reach to the Fortinet portal, right? Uh, so uh, this is uh, the Fortinet support portal that looks like. So what we need to do, so first of all, we go to services and we go to asset management. So from asset management, we can go to product list. So here we will have all our products that are as of now registered with the Fortinet. And if we want to register a new device, so we go to register more. And here we need to put the serial number. So I already have those details. So these are the details. So uh, we have the device serial number, we have the Forty cloud key and we have the contact ID, right? So we have the we copy the serial number and uh, whether it is a government or non-government user. So I have non-government user. Click on next. Then it will ask you for the Forty cloud key. So we copy the Forty cloud key. We enter the Forty cloud key and product description. You can give any meaningful description so that in future, if you want to search the product, you can do that. And we select the partner. Go to next. And uh, these are the device details that we are having as of now and click on confirm. done so one is done so we have one more device we copy the serial number non-government user and then we enter the 40 cloud key product description And then the partner. And then. So right now we have just entered the details. We have not yet registered or we don't have a valid license for these devices. So for licensing, we need to have the contract ID that uh, we will get from our uh, purchaser or vendor from where we are buying the product. So again, we are going to do the same thing, register more. So in this case, so at uh, first we enter the serial number. Now we go, we are going to enter the contract ID, non-government user. And then we need to search the device that we have just registered for. So I can search with the description that I have given. So this is the one that I have just uh, registered one step before serial number ending with 3339 and this is also 3339 we click on it we do next and now here we can see we have the we have the support as well as uh, we have the updates so uh, this is the date that we are activating which is uh, today 6 january 2023 and it is valid till 2028 so we click on accept and then confirm so here you will get all your device detail and click on done. So same thing we are going to do for the next device, which is our, which was our second device. We copy the contract ID, we click on register more. We enter the contract ID, non-government, and then we search for the description that we have given. And the sale numbers is ending with 4147. This is 4147. And here we have the activation date as well as the expiration date. 
and confirm. So now in the dashboard, if we search for our devices, so these are the two devices that we have just registered. So the registering date is uh, 6 March and the expiration date is 4th March 2028. So thank you guys for watching this video.